I have some new perfumes in my collection, not as much as other times, but I'm going on a vacation and I cannot take those perfumes. So I thought, let's just do a small, cute perfume haul. I would say we will start off with the newest additions to my collection, which are quite budget-friendly perfumes. So I have two new perfumes by Cores. This is a Greek brand, beauty brand in general, but they also have a perfume line. And this is one of their, I think, um, best sellers or um, well-known perfumes. It's called Black Sugar. I still have it in the packaging because I wanted to show you how the packaging looks like. It's very simple, yet I do like it because they have, first of all, all of the notes on here. They have a beautiful picture that resembles what the perfume is going to smell like. And then you open it up and this is what the perfume bottle looks like. You still have the notes on here, which I love. And then what is so beautiful is that you have like a story behind the perfume written in the back, which I think is so, so cool. And then here you have all of the information you need, but I think this is such a beautiful touch. I love the color of the bottles. I think it looks a little bit like an apothecary color. And yeah, I like a lot of their perfumes. Um, they are eau de toilettes. So with that being said, most of them are not the longest lasting. Just being honest here, but I just overspray and then it's fine. But the price point is so, so good. But let's um, tell you about the newest additions to my collection. So this is Black Sugar and I have smelled this in the past and I wasn't into perfumes back then as much as I am now but I still was a little bit confused. Black sugar in my mind is super sweet and almost smoky. I actually love the note of black sugar and a lot of perfumes. To me, it smells almost like a burnt sugar, slightly caramelly, a little bit smoky, and it has something airy to it. And this one does not smell like that at all to me. Um, this is Sweet Gourmand powdery floral with notes of caramel heliotrope and lily in the top black sugar rosewood and rose in the heart and in the base you have amber vanilla musk and tonka bean and i will spray it again i was so confused this is a very light perfume one of the most light perfumes in this collection and It's very hard for me to detect the notes on a test strip even. It's like a very, very, very light, powdery version of Prada candy mixed with Infusion d'Iris from Prada as well. So two Prada perfumes lightened up and this is what you get. I thought it would be like super sickly sweet even. It's not. So if you like most of all Infusion d'Iris, so a very powdery, iris, elegant, smooth and creamy perfume that's very fresh um, and you like a little bit of sweetness like in Prada candy, this is going to be right up your alley. It's very inoffensive and what I liked is how it developed on my skin. So at first, on me, it's quite iris-like. There's no iris listed, but to me, it smells very iris-y. But on my skin, when it dries down, it becomes a little bit more sweet, a little bit more cozy, creamy, almost reminding me of Skin by Clean. But that one has a caramel note, I think, that... I don't really enjoy as much as this one. So it's very powdery, it's quite fresh, it's not as sweet as I thought and I would definitely wear it more and tell you all about it. 
especially once I have it in my collection for a longer period of time, I will be very interested to see how it will develop maybe. Maybe it gets a little more deep, more longer lasting. Let's see. The next one is also from Cores and this is called Midnight Dahlia. And I looked up the notes and I was so intrigued. Um, this is quite a new perfume in their collection. It was only released 2020. Black Sugar was released 2015. So this is a perfume with the main accords of sweet, fruity, floral, gourmand with the notes of in the top lychee, apricot, bergamot, dahlia and violet and the hard peony, raspberry, orange blossom and cedarwood and then the base gourmand notes, patchouli, musk and amber. People say it smells similar to C by Armani and one from Louis Vuitton called uh, A Très Brève. I agree. Most of all, I think this smells like a lighter version, less sexy version of Narciso Rodriguez for her, the Eau de Toilette, which is one of my staples in my collection. It's my go-to sexy date night scent. And this one is just a little bit more fruity and happy but it still has this depth to it it's still quite sexy and i get mostly the base so you have the patchouli the musk and the amber and i think aren't those the exact notes of for her musk patchouli amber yeah and osmanthus and in here you have the lychee the apricot so basically they have very similar notes this one just has more and i do get a floral note. I couldn't say it's like a peony. Mm, it's more, as I said, the base mixed in with this happy fruitiness. I love lychee and perfumes. And so this is a very nice addition to the perfume. I just like it a lot. The Narciso one I don't wear as often because to me it's very deep and sexy and mostly appropriate for nighttime in my opinion it's also very strong on my skin and i think this one will be nice to wear uh, during daytime as well then i am so excited to have this one in my collection this is the first full bottle of a soradora perfume in my collection and this is orchidee rouge this isn't one of their best sellers i think or at least not a lot of people talk about it, it seems. A lot of people talk about Mandorle or the newest editions, which are Yanni and Mellow. And I have this new discovery set of Soradora. I just um, reviewed the whole line and now they have those two new perfumes, which I have already tested. Let me know if you want a whole video just on those two new perfumes because I have some thoughts but let's talk about Orchidée Rouge this one is my favorite from the line I think this is so unique and I don't think it's mass appealing but I don't think it's extremely edgy at the same time it's like a nice introduction to niche perfumery. This has the main accords of sweet, spicy, creamy and gourmand with notes of almond milk, caramel, heliotrope, musk, bergamot, ylang ylang, benzoin, elemi resin, orange, rum, vanilla and cinnamon. And this is a very complex scent and I'm not really able to explain how it smells like to me and on me but also, it smells different on me every single time, it seems, also depending on the weather and everything. But this is a, most of all, quite airy, dry scent. I would bet that there is some pepper or something peppery in here, and I don't know what it could be. Maybe the cinnamon, but it's not as spicy. It's more peppery, I would say, like a black pepper mixed in with very creamy notes. The almond milk you can detect very, very good. The caramel is just in the background, making it a little bit more sweet and thick, but it's still quite, um, quite an airy perfume. 
And you know I love my Ylang Ylang in perfumes. It's in the background, you cannot really detect it as much. The musk is very prominent to me, the bergamot is quite prominent, especially in the top, to make it very fresh and citrusy. But then in the dry down, especially on my skin, it becomes a lot more sweet and creamy and it's just a very pleasant scent. The peppery thing almost reminds me of pencil shavings, which is something um, that I smell in a lot of diptyque perfumes like Fleur de Peau or Glossier You, also in some Le Labo perfumes. And I like the balance of this pencil shavings, pepperiness mixed in with those creamy sweet notes and the freshness. It's just a lovely scent. The only thing is that when I had a sample, the sample seemed quite strong on my skin. And at least this fresh bottle here doesn't give me the biggest performance of my life. It's quite a subdued, quiet scent that also doesn't last the whole day, but um, I will test it out more. Just one thing, I am absolutely in love with this bottle. I mean, there are so many perfume bottles. This is quite heavy. It's not appropriate to take it to vacation uh, or anywhere with you because it's so heavy, but it's absolutely stunning. I love the marble cap. It's just stunning. I love this one as well. It's like an ombre effect. It's so moody and luxurious looking and also the pink SD. I love it. And lastly, I have two... Carner Barcelona scents for you. I'm not too sure if I've shown you one of them already, but I'm quite sure I haven't shown you this one before because I put it back into the packaging because it's not a very cold weather appropriate scent. So I wasn't in a rush to put it on my perfume tray, if you know what I mean. So let's open it up. I like the presentation of Cana Barcelona, also because it's quite budget friendly when it comes to niche perfumery. And then this is what the packaging looks like. So this is the perfume I received. It's called Marbella and it was very new to me. I think I have seen it in a video, but I didn't look it up or anything before. I love the blue as well. It's so beautiful. Reminds me of the ocean immediately, like a perfect paradise, like ocean color. And um, the perfume I have tested on paper strip only. Let's talk about what it smells like. So the main accords are floral, fresh, fruity, sweet with notes of black currant, Bulgarian rose, pink pepper in the top, Heart notes of green tea, jasmine and peony, and base notes of musk, peach and amber. So this is quite a light perfume. As I said, it's not really cold weather appropriate. It's more like a spring and summer perfume, but the scent itself is so nice. It's right up my alley when it comes to spring and summer perfumes because it reminds me of some perfumes in my collection that I have already, or maybe a mix of some of them. So a lot of people say it smells quite similar to Yin Transformation by The Harmonist, which is a perfume I just got, and I do feel like they smell quite similar. It also reminds me slightly of uh, Dior J'adore Do, which I also adore. Some people say it smells like Lust in Paradise by Ex Nihilo, which I also think so. And then there is one from Van Cleef and Arpel called T Amara. And that one sounds quite similar as well. But to me, it also reminds me of some of my beloved tea perfumes, especially Melody of the Sun, which is a perfume I got last summer. And it's a very fresh green tea perfume with some slight sweetness to it. And I can definitely get the green tea note, which is not a very authentic green tea to me. Mostly like a green tea extract. 
and it's like the green tea in Elizabeth Arden's green tea, which is a perfume I like the scent of. I just don't like the performance at all. But this green tea is mixed with beautiful, beautiful florals. The jasmine is the jasmine I like. It's creamy, it's elegant, it's subdued, it's not too loud. I love peonies and perfumes. And the rose is quite prominent as well, but it's a quite fresh and almost green smelling rose. And the black currant is quite loud in the forefront. Like the first minutes, it's like black currant heavy and then it simmers down quite a bit. And you're left with this musky, fruity, fresh scent. It's a very easy to wear scent, very easy to wear. If you like floral, fruity scents that are fresh, not too heavy, not too deep, nothing too complicated. If you want something for the office, this is beautiful. As I said, I haven't um, been trying it on my skin yet, so I cannot really tell you a lot about performance, but on the test trip, it wasn't the longest lasting perfume I tried that day. And just a quick mention, I have this Carne Barcelona um, discovery set for you as well. Um, let me know if you want me to test it out with you in a separate video because these are the top 10 best sellers from the brand. I can quickly show you what's inside because I received it the same day as the other two perfumes. So it looks like that. And what I like is it is quite simple. And you know, I am quite picky when it comes to discovery sets because I want to get a feeling of each perfume, but it does have this paper where they have like a feeling of each of the perfumes. So in here you have Tardes, Kir, Costarella, Volcano, Latin Lover, Marbella, Bota Fumero, Ibiza Nights, Bobo and Rockstar. And these are supposedly their bestsellers. I have smelled some of them before but not a lot of them and for example with the costarella it says the ultimate expression of the freedom evoked by the open sea a citric marine perfume so you get an idea about the perfume it doesn't say anything about notes on there but yeah this is their discovery set with their top 10 bestsellers as i said let me know if you want a full review of the discovery set last but not least as i said i'm not too sure if i've shown you this one before or not but i'm just going to tell you about it anyway just quickly because i received it the same day as i received Mrabea, and this is palo santo and this one i think i've smelled before but it must have been a day where i've smelled I don't know, 30 to 40 perfumes, which I would not suggest, but it was a perfumery. I've just been once and there were so many perfumes I wanted to try for such a long time that I smelled a lot of them that day. And I didn't really remember how this one smelled exactly. Now I can test it very thoroughly, but it's a very, very complex scent. So this has the main accords of sweet, woody, gourmand, spicy, with notes of rum, milk, guayac wood, tonka bean, cedar, amaris, and vetiver. And the top and the heart are extremely yummy, creamy, spicy. It's like a chai latte kind of perfume without the tea experience but you get something similar it's quite smoky spicy milky sweet extremely beautiful and in the base on my skin it's quite woody and especially the vetiver is a note i detect on my skin a lot it's quite earthy and quite wet smelling quite woody as well and it gets a little bit too niche on my skin right now. So I have to test it out more. And also I have to maybe pair it up with something else. But the top and the heart 
amazing. So these were all of the new additions to my perfume collection and I can see I managed to speak more than 20 minutes anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've tried any of those perfumes. Let me know if you want a separate uh, review on the discovery set of Carna Barcelona and also the two new Soradora perfumes that I received as samples. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!